may notice these um, infields, they can be turned backwards because it has a reckon snail um, movement and um, autocorrect. And I'll also explain um, further detail. Um, there, there's an S gear that is on the minute hand arbor and obviously that um, triggers the um, chime but also at the same time prevents um, the chime movement from being damaged so hence you can turn the clock hand backwards but I recommend you do it slowly to prevent further damage This clock here, um, the, uh, the um, click spring is broken for the uh, chime, the uh, chime um, ratchet, so I have to replace it. Yes, I've been inside the clock, so hence I was able to explain to you. The middle arbor controls the time, but it also runs on weights. The rest of the arbors run on springs. Still haven't got into fixing this yet. I still got to find a, a clockmaker to make this for me. Fix it for me, not make it, but maybe make a new spring. <laughs> anyway, jokes aside. For those of you wondering about this clock here, um, Yes, this clock is made by Waterbury. Um, obviously, I got a comment about it. I didn't really believe until I looked at the dial. It said down here, Waterbury. Yeah, door still wonky. I'll try to get to fixing that soon. This clock. This clock here, no matter just the uh, the pin on the um, balancing wheel, um, it doesn't seem to make any difference. Instead, the clock just stays ticking slow. And obviously, um, a week later, this clock would be 10 minutes slow. Yeah, poor thing. I only just got this clock only to just have one problem with it. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot I left this clock in here because of Christmas Day, you know, this is the, the dining room. I needed to use the table that I had my, my clocks on as to eat on. <laughs> so, hence why I just had to move my clocks around. <laughs> yeah. 
and I left this one in here because obviously my mum wanted to have this one sitting up there but now she's put it down here all right I'll be back with the countdown for 2022